Well, Gary, so much momentum from last weekend, having had a couple of days training. If you still got that feel good, that feel good feeling for this weekend? Yeah, there's always a feel good factor um, after you get some results and a bit of confidence from those results. But um, yeah, what we're really wary and guarding is that there's still the job's not done. Do you know what I mean? I made that clear after the game, um, being very clear back in here with the players, and they know as well. Do you know what I mean? I think. Yeah, it was a really good Easter for us result-wise and obviously that eases a little bit of the tension but you can quite easily go back into tension, you know, so we've got a lot of work to do so um, yeah, we're very mindful of, yeah, yeah, it's great, get a lot of confidence and a lot of good things that come out of that game and get, should give the players a lot of confidence going into these remaining games. Um, as I said, I think we showed like what, some, what we all knew is capable of and what's kind of under the bonnet as I said after the game but yeah, very mindful of we're not out of the woods. We need to need to continue what we're doing. And of course, Sorry, I'm looking down. <laughs> and of course, yeah. it's not just the the feeling of it, but the technical side of it as well. So much to to build upon. Yeah, there's a lot to build on, and that, that's the positives from it. Um, yeah, there's still a lot of things I see that we can be a lot better with. Um, but overall, I really can't complain. These last two games, um, yeah, we've we've got more right than we've got wrong, and and that's obviously contributed to the results we've got so um and they put a lot of huge amount of effort into into those two games but as i said just said like two games isn't enough we need to continue it um and there'll still be some ups and downs in these remaining games um, it's not going to be plain sailing and but our aim is to produce that level of performance and um, that's got to be the aim and um and we should now be going into these with confidence to deliver that but that doesn't mean it's going to be easy for sure. We got really, like this weekend's games are playing an example of that. You know, away from home, tough team. It's going to be a really difficult game. We're going to have to be right on our game. So, um, but at least we know now what the level is. I think it's important to see that. I think not not just for the fans and for myself, but for the players themselves. They know they've got it, but to produce it at this time is is hugely important. But yeah, we need more results. So that's going to be the the, the biggest task for us. Yeah, across the Easter weekend, you seem to have a real clarity of purpose, which perhaps Barnsley and Wigan didn't so much have. I guess Blackpool as well, falling into that bracket of their, they're desperately hanging on in there, but they've lost a bit of momentum in terms of their, their playoff race, so potentially something to play on. Yeah, they're, but they're going to be desperate to win because they're, what are they, six points from the playoff place, so they still believe that they've got a real opportunity. So this game's going to be crucial for them as it is for us, so... You know, we're under no illusions how difficult this game's going to be for us and every game's been difficult um, and we're playing against teams that are higher on us in the league and you know we've on paper so-called better quality of squads and stuff like that but that's what we kind of try to distract that like forget the paper it's like what we do we know what we're capable of and we saw that in the last two games um, I'm really pleased that's come out it needed to come out <laughs> But I'm really pleased it's come out because we kind of all knew that. I knew coming in here that they've got that level of performance in them. Um, so producing it at the right time is what this part of the season is all about. So we need more of that. They're not all going to be, even though those two games weren't plain sailing, but like it's not all going to be going our way. We're going to have moments where we're going to have to come back from things and, and show our mettle. And, um, but I'm yeah, overall very pleased with the way it's going but it can change very quickly so very mindful of that yeah and it, it probably doesn't mean so much to you being new in through the door but I think from the outside looking in what happened over the weekend there appeared to be a real freshness it was very different from what we've seen previously this season very neat and tidy and and so many elements that were quite clear I think that you could see what you've been doing on the training ground yeah I said that in the national break came at the right time um it was a chance to reset on everything um, and I said to you for me like you can have a good idea of players and teams and stuff like that from analysing them but it's only when you're really working with them and you're seeing things live and the games that we play where you can get a better idea of what you feel you need to do and how you, how you can help it and those two weeks were were really strong on that um, and the players were brilliant the, the players deserve the credit they like you can give them the ideas and show them things where you think you can make them better, but it's down to them to put the hard work there and then carry that onto the pitch. So they deserve all the credit from that. And um, But then the demand now from my side of it and from them within is to keep producing that level, which is difficult to do at this stage, you know, from freshness things and stuff like that. 
Um, as I said, the lads are carrying niggles like other teams are. But um, it's more a mentality thing that we really try to get into them. So, um, yeah, very pleased that that's been seen quite clearly in, in the two games. But it's only two games. So we need to, as I keep saying, we need to produce it in more, more games that we've got left this season. Yeah, and perhaps easy to overlook because it was such a good weekend, but a number of different injury issues to to contend with, just to pick up on some of those. With Michael Morrison, has he, has he got a chance for this weekend? He's still feeling his niggle. It's only a niggle, but it's still a little bit sore um, around his knee. So probably doubtful for this weekend, but yeah, we're, we're pretty confident that he'll be um, back in some sort of training um, this week, but um, looking probably more towards the, the Charlton game after um, than this week, but the rest are exactly the same as we were um, before the game. Yeah. Or after the game. With Lyle Taylor and his scans, what's the prognosis there? Yeah, so he's got obviously. Sorry, yeah, Lyle's. Um, yeah, just tweaked his groin, so it's kind of one of them with the area that he's got. It is kind of like it's going to go a little bit on how he feels and sort of how it settles down. It's just very sore. Um, so it's not going to be this week. There's a possibility of next week, but probably touch and go for that. But I think hopefully worst case scenario, it could be the week after that. But those types of injuries, because it's not a clear... Do you know what I mean? It's not like you can say, oh, it's grade three, this tear or this tear. Like, I think it will go down to symptoms and a little bit of feel, but um, we saw at the moment. So, um, yeah, this weekend, yeah, he'll be definitely ruled out of that. Yeah, and the good news, of course, is with... Gasana had me back and Okunabire coming off the bench on, on Monday. You're a bit better stocked in that position than was otherwise the case. Yeah, we are. And yeah, it's good timing. And But we are very thin still on the ground. You know, a couple of injuries touch wood that doesn't happen in certain areas. And, and we're probably, yeah, um, looking at um, some difficult situations and stuff like that. But I've always said it, we just have to adapt. You know, whatever happens, ready to work and adapt and when someone does miss out unfortunately um, it's and then another opportunity for someone else um, and the guys that have stepped in um, or more fresh into the team have done exceptionally well so you know all credit to them as well for being ready. Yeah and Gassan a great example of that coming back from a long-term injury to come into the side and make that sort of impact if I'm Fijiri or anybody else who's been out it's, it's great inspiration isn't it? Yeah of course it is and you know, Gassan's one of those characters he's quite an infectious character he's he goes about his work really diligent. Um, he's one of those types actually you have to rein back in um, because he'll literally train and work. If you told him 24 hours a day, he'd do it 24 hours a day. So, um, but we also got to be really mindful. He's only just come back and yeah, he's building up his minutes and stuff and he's contributing brilliant, amazing, amazing he's done since he's come back in or come on at half time. At, sorry, just after half time at Barnsley. But, you got to remember he's been out for quite a period of time, so that my expectation of him is to do what he's doing, you know, real high level, and then for as long as that lasts, great, and then um, the others to be ready to, to come on and, and help the team as they have been doing. And three seriously good goals last weekend, yeah. particularly the, the two headers, it, it doesn't come easy. No, um, no, they were well-worked goals, weren't they? Um, and the, the main thing for that game was they all came at the right time, didn't they? Um, we got to 2 0 and it felt quite comfortable, really. And then, like you know as well as me, the one time we did sort of switch off and not deal with their situation, they score. And then at that point, you're thinking, I think I said after the game, I was interested to see the sort of reaction, but I thought we reacted really well. I think we sort of remained calm and carried on doing it. And then obviously, Danny's goal just came at the right time and sealed the deal rather than having a real nervous couple of minutes uh, towards the end, which is, I suppose, is not quite common in these situations. So, um, no, the, the, the bottom line is they're doing really well, but it, the other bottom line is it's only two games um, and we need more. Um, we're not out of the woods, so we need to get more points on the ball. We have to go with the same, same mindsets and we might tweak a few things for certain games and looking at the opponents and what we need to do. But um, it's that level of determination which has been the most pleasing, so um, we need to continue that. Brilliant, it's great for me. Cheers. Gary, you, we've spoke about how important those results were for the club, for the players and different things. For yourself as well, having spent two weeks on the training pitch, or nearly two weeks with the lads, had the two games afterwards not gone as well, from from your point of view, I suppose, you've been in the dressing room as a player, players are trying to suss out a new manager, you're trying to suss out them. If, if it had not gone as well, 
you know, you might not have got that buy-in, but does it feel like you've got that buy-in with the players now as well from, from your point of view? Yeah, look, that, you, no, you're right, you're 100% right. I'd have had nothing left. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, the point, the point of that, you're right, 100%, because it's, you know, when you're a new manager and you come in in these situations, you often don't get time, mm. and what you really want is time, because you can see what I said the first few games is, first game went well enough and yeah. then okay, and then a bit of a eye-opener, the Lincoln game and then Reading um, and then you, like I said one, it's only when you're really working with them that you see that it's not just about the football it's the character it's how they deal with things and like what, who needs what and, and what can you give to them so it's like had I not had those two weeks yeah it would have been of course it would have been more difficult still would have probably had that plan in my head but yeah. the fact that we had those two weeks and now okay you can really get to work with them and make it clearer and put repetition into that I think just come, I knew coming out of the national rate, no matter what happened, I thought it definitely wasn't going to look like Lincoln or Reading. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I would have been amazed if it had, you know, because I think just that clarity of thought and again a bit of a mental reset and stuff like that. And um, so I was confident that we would perform better. You know, no one, no one could have envisaged we'd get six points from those two games. I think if everyone's truthful, but I was confident that we would perform a lot better than what we had been in those previous two games. So. Um, but you're right, and then you can go back into that change room and players understand that, okay, that's what we've really applied ourselves to for the two weeks, and this is the rewards we got with it, and we put the right mindset to it as well, which is probably the most important bit. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, you've got something to sell when you go back in the change room, haven't you? Yeah. And a word on Will Mannion, who we just spoke to. It's obviously hard for someone like him. I think it's five or six months since his last performance before mm-hmm. coming on it. At Reading, the, the, the impact he's had, obviously clean sheet at Barnsley, a couple of key saves, key penalty save, yeah. and it's it's not easy, is it, for a, for no. a backup goalkeeper? So just a word for for him and his impact. Yeah, no, look, I'm delighted for him. I think we all are, and as much as you don't want to see, like I said about Jack, and you don't want to see those things happen, it's unfortunate sometimes injuries happen, but when the next one steps in, you know you want them to do well. You want all the players to do well, and um, and he's. Yeah, you know, he's exemplified that, hasn't he? You know, he's. It won't be like that for all the games. You know, there's going to be to get in touch with. There's going to be certain things that maybe he doesn't get right or we don't get right and stuff like that. But I think you can see. The good thing is you can see with an opportunity what he's. You know, it's important for me to see as well. I know a lot of the guys will know. You know him a lot better than I do. Do you know what I mean in terms of like working with every day? So to see these two games shows the potential he has and. Um, I've been really happy for him because it's not an easy. That's a real one of the most dif- difficult positions on the pitch. And when you haven't played a lot of games and your time in, and because it's such a responsibility in that position, I don't think it could have gone any better for him. So um, yeah, delight for him. But he knows as well as me as they all do. We need to keep growing and keep pushing for that level. And yeah, his penalty save came at a crucial time. Yeah. And no, he's done. I can't speak highly enough of him. You know, to take that opportunity how he has and, and to carry on doing what he needs to do. Good for me. Anything from anyone else? Steve was on holiday, so. How oh, was he? Yeah. I didn't have my list today. Was Hi, Gary. Well, mate. You okay? Hi, Gary. Yeah, you. Um, of course, you've been around a few clubs in England over the years. Uh, how would you describe your time here at Cambridge United so far, and how are you feeling about these last sort of this final push towards the end of the season? Um, the feeling is it's very short at the moment. <laughs> I've only been in for. Is it just over a month? Um, but I'm no, really enjoying it. Um, you know, it had to be something like this to to motivate me and make me want to do it. So um, uh, I've enjoyed it from the start. Uh, I haven't enjoyed a couple of the results, um, but um, the daily process and the work and the staff and everyone at the clubs. Do you know what I mean it from everyone? Um, everyone within the club, everyone outside the club. Obviously, bumping into a few fans around the city. Um, yeah, really enjoying it. The sport's been magnificent. So, um, but I guess the determination for me is to try and put a team on the pitch that wins games and and gets the club to the situation we need to get to. So um, that's all I've been thinking about. So quite consumed, to be fair, <laughs> focused on here, but um, enjoying it. Good, good. Thank you, mate. Cheers, though. What What are you expecting from Blackpool, Gary? Yeah, I I, I like them. I think they're. Uh, Again, it'd be a different game to what we faced um, with Barnsley and Wigan. They're all different anyway, aren't they? Like, but for me, they're highly mobile. They're aggressive. 
very much on the front foot in terms of you know closing balls down and second balls and all that side of it. Um, so they cause a lot of problems in that way, um, and at certain players can build up the play really well. So um, we're going to have to get our structure really well, um, what we choose to go with, and then we're going to have to be really smart on how we deal with like set plays and second balls and those sort of phases um, because they're really aggressive and, and they've got good physicality with it you know, all across the pitch. So um, yeah, it's a tough game. Plus the position they're in, they're going to be desperate for those three points. We need to be as desperate as they are, if not more, um, which I think we've shown in the last two games. Um, we wanted those three points, I, I believe, more than our opponents did. And But this will be a, a, a probably a step up on on the two games that we've just played, especially the physicality of it. and um, Yeah, like I said, those areas that I've just talked about will be probably of a higher level than what we faced against Wigan and, and, and Barnsley. Yeah, I know they're missing Jordan Rhodes, aren't they? But um, how do you think they'll adapt without him? Obviously, they've still got lots of threats, haven't they? Yeah, now they've got lots of threats. And, you know, you look at the squad, you, you'd be, you know, if you all sat here at the start of the season and you looked at their squad on paper, you'd be expecting that to be in the promotion hunt, wouldn't you? So, um, yeah. You know, like we just faced at Barnsley, you expected them to be in the promotion hunt. Um, even Wigan probably expected them to be higher up the league than what they are. Um, when you look at it on paper, but paper's paper. But these, you know, I haven't watched quite a lot of them, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, there, there'll be a step up, definitely physically and aggressiveness and physicality and all that side of it. Um, so we're, we won't be afforded many mistakes, um, if any, um, in this game. So we need to be right on out. Right on our metal, ready to to do a little bit of what we've been doing, but also um, with the ball as well. We need to be we need to be smart with it. Good luck for the weekend, mate. Cheers, Dan. Thanks, mate. All right. All good. How's yeah. everyone? How are you? Yeah, excellent. Uh, just a quick word on uh, Babadu Job. Obviously, he's been playing a lot, uh, played out wide for Gateshead, and then obviously come into the middle for us. He's played a lot of football recently. Are we expecting to see him again to Blackpool and just how good has he been since coming back? Yeah, he's done really well in these two games um, and stepping in. Um, but he came back in that international break, so he got a lot of the work that we were doing in. Uh, obviously, very conscious of that. Like, you know, uh, they need to know what we're doing before you can go on the pitch. And he got a good large chunk of that from the international break. And then, yeah, he's gone in and done what I expected him to do. Um, but for a young lad, and you know, inexperienced at this level, um, he couldn't have asked for much more. There's still quite a lot in his game that he needs to work on, and what I can see even from these two games, where against maybe a better opponent in that moment or a, or a player in that moment would have recognised a few situations he got in which he hasn't been affected with. So, um, but that's good. Do you know what I mean it's it's all part of the learning process? He's young, um, his game, and um, a lot to like about him um, for the future. So, um, yeah, he's done very well, but. Um, again, just need to keep your feet on the ground and keep working and, and um, keep developing and that's my job to help him and, and the staff and, and for him to, to be focused and but he is he's a great lad and, and done you know very well up to this point.